Hello dear friends, here we are. The Medium's Harvest by Emmanuel Tushiko Xavier. Today, chapter 71. Chapter 71 is about inspiration. And this chapter relies upon item 218 of the Medium's book. We are going to read this beautiful item of the If in spite of all attempts, mediumship does not surface in some form as a would-be singer would give up after discovering that he or she had no voice after all in the same way that someone who does not understand a foreign language resorts to an interpreter the person will have to resort to another medium but even if there is no medium available we should not deem ourselves to be without the assistance of spirits Mediumship is only one means for spirits to communicate, but it is not the sole means of attraction. Those who have dedicated their affection to us are with us whether or not we are mediums. A father does not abandon his son because the son is deaf and blind and can neither hear nor see him. On the contrary, he involves himself even more in his care. Good spirits do the same for us. If they are unable to physically transmit their thought to us, they help us with their inspiration. Because what is inspiration? So let's see what Emmanuel tells us in the Medium's Harvest there, chapter 71. Public meeting on September 26, 1960. Emmanuel says, In any consideration regarding mediumship, do not dodge from inspiration. A field open to all of us in which we can all build for the good, assimilating the thought of the upper sphere. It is not worth a phenomenon without the benefit. A man who could see in a valley of the blind without effort to help the brothers deprived of light would not be more than an important lens by itself. Anyone who could speak in a province of mute people, denying assistance to regain speech, would resemble only a moving disco. Carrying a land of paralytics, denying them support to regain the inheritance of the movement, would be for them like a rare and abnormal bird acting in human form. The person who can hear on an island of the death death, deserting the fraternal corporation so that they could learn to listen would be just a sound recorder. The individual who taught logic and conduct in a colony of mentally alienated people and did not try, however, to support their return to reason would be among them as file of incomprehensible maxims. Do not declare yourself incapable of serving because you lack more ample incursion in the unusual thing. Psychic appeal without functioning the good is equal to the isolated intelligence or the dead monkey, excellent agglutinants of vanity and avarice. Of all occurrences, observe the benefits. Thought is a wave of living force that puts us in tune with the multiple realms of the good for the work of the good that is our obligation. Being aware that mediumistic marvels without activity for the good of all motives to appreciation conversa to precious conversations among the prodigal of the wood, but in reality they are always the exclusivism of someone with no use to anyone. So, mediumship Mediumship and service. Mediumship and service. Kardec was telling us, if we cannot ostensibly hear the spirits, feel the spirits, see the spirits, let's not forget. In some way and form, send us inspiration. Like good parents to their kids. Giving them counsels and warnings and directions and tutoring, making sure that they go ahead but it is on us to listen. It is on us to feel it. We need to pick up the signs. So that's when we go back to the first parts of the 
Spirits book by Allan Kardec. When Kardec asked the spirits about the void in the universe, chance exists? No, it doesn't exist either. Chance and the void, they don't exist. It means that we need to understand where we are in the field of life and move forward picking up the signs. For example, if you are driving and the car in front of you has a bumper sticker saying love is in the air and you have an issue inside of you regarding somebody whether or not you should invest on that relationship or not. I'm not saying romantic relationship then that bumper sticker is the inspiration for us. And then you're surfing your internet, let's say browsing Facebook. And then there is a post that talks about forgiveness. You woke up thinking about the person who offended you the last day, etc. So that is the inspiration that the high spirits are using through Facebook to tell us. So there are many ways through which these higher spirits, the others, do not dodge from inspiration. So therapeutic question for you and I, for us, am I dodging from inspiration? Am I running away from it? Very likely we are. Because life is constantly and daily inviting us to the good direction. And we are often not paying attention. So you may be asking, what do I do? Practice mindfulness. What is to be minded? I can only pick up the inspiration that is coming towards me if I am in the present. Because if I'm thinking of the past, if I'm thinking of the future, I am not in the present. I'm not picking up inspiration. So be present. How Vanessa? Breathe. Breathing in and out. I am happy in the present. What am I here to learn? And then breathe in and out. Look at people around you. How can I learn to be more virtuous with them? Really, we're so egotistic and proud of ourselves that we tend to look at people in our lives as if we know more and they know less. Everybody has the same mindset. If people are not religious, they think they're more insightful, they're smarter. If we have a little bit more humility and say, how can I learn from this person? There's something to learn. Let me learn it. That is mindfulness. That's how I'm going to pick up on the inspiration. By being the present. Inspiration. Only is only picked up. That's why he says, do not. A field open to us all. To be the thought of the upper sphere. So he gives us five cases of people. Those who are blind. Who can speak move around those who are paralyzed, who can hear around those who are deaf, and those who can think around those who cannot make up any logical thinking. The several senses, the abilities of the soul. If we have any ability, and we are around people, and we are not serving, we're not multiplying the talents. And we're not open also to receive the inspiration. What is the purpose of life? And that's why we suffer. Because suffering comes to break our resistance. Suffering comes when we are resisting the ultimate call of inspiration. Suffering comes when we are resisting the ultimate call of inspiration. And what is inspiration again? The thought of the upper spheres. The 
higher spirits are constantly bathing us in the positive thought and feeling. But it is on us to log in to their accounts. How do I do it? By being mindful and by being open, being humble. Humility here is this openness to learn. So that's why in the second part of the message, if you listen to this and if you're like, but who am I, Vanessa? Emmanuel is answering to your question. Do not declare yourself incapable of serving. You're asking, who am I? One day and tomorrow and after tomorrow and here comes. Do not be medium, right? Yes, so he says, having beautiful mediumship without helping others doesn't work for the good. To work for the good, it's our obligation. Being a powerful medium, and I say quote unquote power because that doesn't actually exist, but, exist, but it's actually this unfoldment of mediumship can be beautiful. But if at the end of the day, it's just for the sake of conversing about it, talking about it, showing off, but it's not actually benefiting anybody, then what's the use? It's just exclusivism of someone with no use to anyone. So being a medium is not a big deal. Kardec was not a medium, but he was deeply inspired by the higher spirits. Many wonderful men and women in this world were not a sensible mediums, but they were wonderfully inspired to do the good. So are you a medium? We all are. But if you're not in a sensible medium, you're still being called to serve. And to serve in a mediumistic meeting. And to serve in a spiritist center. And I would say to serve in the spiritist harvest. Don't give yourself an excuse. Because my work, my family, my health, do something. Doing nothing is not an option. You don't need to do three fun. Commit yourself at least once to helping in the through Cardiac Radio, the Spiritist Magazine, in your local center. It could be in a, an online thing. Is not an option, my friend, because the upper spheres are constantly showering upon us the abundance of love. Do you feel the abundance of God? Do you feel it? Because at the end of the day, inspiration is about the abundance of God's love, which gives us everything that we need, not only to live, but to do what we need to do, fulfill our obligations. So, not to do anything after being 24-7 showered by the the fairy dust of God's love is simply a no-no. There is always something for us to be done. And Emmanuel says, do not declare yourself incapable of serving. This is Emmanuel, and we're going to repeat. Do not declare yourself incapable of serving. Don't wait for retiring years. Don't wait for when things in your life are easier because they are not going to be easier. Not on the earth. Not on the earth. But for us, the now is the time. What is the exercise and the homework for all of us? Be mindful. Breathe in and out and ask, how can I serve in the now? Be mindful, breathe in and out in the present moment and say, how can I be of service 
in this very moment by saying a prayer, sending a beautiful thought, in a business meeting, driving, eating, sleeping, taking a nap, watching a movie and thinking, why are we watching this? There is a sign here, nothing is by chance. And even in the worst case scenarios, there is something to be done. And I'll give you examples by Chico Xavier. How this feeling of being of service can twist the weirdest scenarios. He would enter, he was stopped by a, a man who wanted to rob him and he ended up helping the man. Usually we would feel, oh my gosh, what does this mean? Am I being punished by God? No, God is asking you to help this person. Please focus. The center is not you. God is in the center. And you are serving God. And God is saying, this person is coming to you. How can you help this person? Like Chico Xavier, he entered a, a bar to drink some coffee. And there he was helping. He used to work in a bar. And he used to talk to the spirits who would come. And he had no choice at the time. But he used to talk to the spirits who were coming there and helping them. You see how when you want to serve, you receive the inspiration and you change the scenario around. So it's up to us to make that decision. But declaring ourselves not capable of serving, says Emmanuel in chapter 71, title Inspiration, the Medium's Harvest. It's a no-no. How can I serve? And if I want to change a scenario, I need to ask ourselves. We need to ask ourselves, what have I not done here yet that I still need to be here? When we learn it, life changes. It changes so much that look at us here, huh? Who could tell, right, Celio? You're there, your father, you have a beautiful wife, and we are here together, huh? Adilson is here, right, Celio? Remember when we met? What a joy in the Bay Area. And, right, it was joyful, and I'm so happy for you and the new family. And here we are, right, Karina Lissi. How are you, Karina? Adilson, how are you? Maria Silva, how are you? Raquel Paquesh, how are you doing? Silvio Otero, how are you? Nina Dui, how are you? Paula, how are you? Lívia Moraes, thank you for being with us. Rihanna, Lea Severo, how are you? And I know we missed some people because the internet was on and off, on and off, on and off. But keeping the inspiration, we are here. And this is how it goes. I never stop talking. But the internet was on and off. This is us. The spirits keep telling us stuff. And our internet fails us. Our inner internet. Huh? So we better strengthen this inner signal. How? Goodwill. Goodwill. That's what it is. Right, Adriana? Sanchez Monteiro, thank you for being with us. Yes, Silvia. I'm feeling blessed too. Tomorrow, when we come back, Right, Rita de Cassia? We're going to talk about chapter 72. It's about obsession and healing. So we talked about no doubt anymore, mediumship. Opening ourselves to this inspiration that is constant. Right, Gustavo and Rudy? And once we hold that torch of faith, without a doubt, we'll be better instruments to work on obsession and healing. As a teaser, 
Oh, Emmanuel is going to tell us, obsession is a disease of the soul. No doubt about it, he says. Obsession is a disease of the soul. Okay? And he says, if you conduct the issue of obsession with clarity to understand its necessities, you should be aware that the renewal of the spiritual, the inferior spiritual company depends on your own renewal. Mamma mia, come back tomorrow, friends, because we're talking about deep healing, the healing of the soul, and there is nothing better than that. Who wants to be healed? So say the affirmation, I'm ready to be healed, ready to be healed, ready, 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 ready to be healed tomorrow, right, Elizabeth? And tomorrow, Rihanna, we'll be back, God willing, here for obsession in healing with Emmanuel. God willing. Thank you, friends. And until then.